Sharpening knives is something that's really important for anybody from home cooks to professionals. I'm the sharpener here at Corin. I've been sharpening knives for like 12 years now. So I'll show you guys how I do it here. When you're using a whetstone, you're actually grinding metal off of your knife and creating a new edge. Uh, that's why a honing rod or honing steel uh, is not actually sharpening. But you did mention something about the electric uh, sharpeners. They're so aggressive that they take off a lot of metal. Your knife wears down much faster than if you were to use a uh, proper whetstone. First of all, uh, you wanna prep the stone. So depending on the stone, you have to soak it in water or wet it. And essentially you're finding the proper angle and grinding the edge of the knife segment by segment. The angle is something that's gonna be different for every knife. I take two fingers and I slowly lift and I try to find the shallowest angle that I feel that edge flush with the stone. I find the angle that allows my uh, fingernail or fingers not to catch. If you're too shallow, you're gonna see um, scratches build up on your knife. Uh, if you're going too high, your knife's gonna wear down very fast. You gotta remember sharpening, you're grinding metal, so you have to apply firm pressure. Wherever the edge is facing, I press when I'm going away from the edge. Let go of pressure as I go back up and repeat. And I'm gonna work my way down the knife in sections. And as long as you're seeing this mud or slurry, that's the metal that's coming off of your knife, so you know you're pressing firm enough. But you don't need to press with all your might. You know, some people press so hard, and that can be very dangerous, because if you slip, you know, you can really hurt yourself. So when I flip over, I change my grip, and just like before, I lay the knife flat and feel for that proper angle. And I start at the tip, but this time the edge is facing me, and I press firmly as I push away from me. I let go when I come back down and push from the tip all the way to the heel. And you'll often see me uh, feel the edge like this. I'm actually checking for what's called a burr. This edge is getting thinner and thinner and thinner until eventually the edge will fold over or curl over. You should be able to feel that burr catch. Once you get that burr, we can move on to the second stone, which is the finishing or polishing stone a much finer grit stone. Your knife is actually already sharp. So it's very important that you don't press too hard because a finishing stone is very hard. I'm pretty much using the weight of my left hand and the weight of the knife to do all the work. I'm not really pressing any harder than that. Maybe like three to five minutes until that edge is really nice and polished. So paper test. Uh, my favorite part, so I just cut through. You know, the paper test, a lot of people think it's just to look cool, but there's actually something you can gain out of it. The paper shouldn't be fighting back. It should be very easy for the knife to glide through. The other thing, you can listen for the sound. The paper is really good at finding imperfections. Going all the way to that tip. So if you catch a little bit like that, what you can do is just polish out a little bit more because that's just a little bit of a burr or an imperfection. You want to make sure you test the whole length of your knife. Start at the heel and like pull all the way through. We talked about how sharpening is really important and uh, I really hope you guys give it a try. It's not something that's really hard. It might be hard to master, but it's really easy to pick up and, and do at home. You know, just enjoy cooking and, and enjoy a sharp knife. <laughs>